Hello again, and welcome back to Artsy Fartsy with Emily. Today, we are talking about the artist Eric Carl, and we are talking about Habitat and using the book A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carl. And we are using the element of art texture. Eric Carl is a famous artist, author, and illustrator. Today we are looking at the artwork of Eric Carle and paying special attention to how he creates texture in his artwork. He is famous for writing and illustrating many popular children's books. Do you recognize any of these books by Eric Carle? If you are interested in reading any of them, you can check them out at your local library or find read alouds online. Texture is how something feels like rough or smooth or wet or dry or soft or hard. When we talk about an artwork or a painting having texture, it does not mean that we are touching it or that it feels a certain way. We are talking about artwork showing texture, which means the artist made the things in the artwork look like they feel a certain way. Take a look at this tree that Eric Carl made the trunk of the tree has great texture. I can imagine that if I reached out and touched the tree, it would feel bumpy and rough, just like a real tree trunk. But remember, don't actually touch other people's artwork unless you are invited to do so. Before we start our art project, take a minute to read this book, A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carle. Your teacher may have already read it to you, or maybe has sent you a link to a read aloud for this book. You can find a link to a YouTube video read aloud in the description of this video. While you are reading this book, look at the pictures for examples of texture. Parts of the pictures that look like they might feel a certain way if you could reach into the picture and feel them. Before we keep talking about texture, let's talk about how Eric Carl creates his artwork. He starts by painting pictures with lots of different colors or overlapping strokes or painting with interesting brushes. What is he painting with in these pictures? After Mr. Carl has used different colors and tools to create his paintings, he cuts out shapes and puts them together to make an image. Putting different pieces together to create art is called collage. Collage is one of my favorite ways to create art. Look at the scraps on his floor in his studio. He has been busy. Here is a photo of an Eric Carl artwork if you could reach into this picture and touch it, what would it feel like? I think this piece has great texture. It would feel really interesting if we could touch it. I see three different ways that Eric Carl created texture here. One, all the different colored pieces layered on top of each other make it seem like it has layers and would be bumpy. Two, the circle holes in each piece also add texture. I can imagine what they would feel like. Three, look carefully. Each different color has different stripes and strokes on it, almost like you can see where he dragged his paintbrush. So much texture. This cricket is another fabulous example of texture. Eric Carl cut out each piece of this cricket's body and then put them together. Layering the pieces together makes it look 3D or like it has texture. Some parts of the cricket's body look smaller or farther away and some look closer. For today's project, you will need a plain white piece of paper, a half a sheet of tan or light brown paper, a half a sheet of red paper, a small paper plate, and then some assorted scraps in assorted colors. You will also need a watercolor set. Make sure you have the brush, some water for your watercolors, and some crayons. 
we are going to make a house for hermit crab all animals need a habitat and we are going to create one for him just like eric carl did in the book we are going to add texture with painting and drawing and then add more texture by tearing our paper and putting the pieces together and using collage i chose a paper plate as one of your materials because it also adds some great texture here is a super fast video of me making my artwork. If you need to rewind it and watch it again, go for it. To start, draw some squiggly lines for waves. Tear the top edge off your tan paper and then add dots of watercolor paint to make it look like sand or pebbles. I tore out long skinny strips for seagrass and circles for rocks, but you can add whatever you remember from the story. Add texture by draw, drawing dots, shapes, or squiggles with crayon or watercolors, and then glue those things down. Next, I took my paper plate and drew a spiral on it to make it look like a shell. Add some splotchy watercolor paint to give the shell some texture, like it is an old worn out shell. Finally, tear out a head, a body, legs, and pinchers for hermit crab. Glue them all together. If you would like to add things like an anemone or a starfish to hermit crab's shell, like you might have remembered from the story, go for it. Thanks for joining us on Artsy Fartsy with Emily. See you next time. Keep creating and keep learning.